Hi there, this is Miss Caitlin from Bebo Kids Art Academy and welcome to another fall daily draw. Today is number 10 and we are going to be drawing a cup of cider. Now, we are gonna go ahead and need just a good firm piece of paper if you wanna do some of the same coloring that I did. I used watercolor in this project. Um, I did use marker, but you could use color pencil if you've got it or really anything else. Um, we're gonna use watercolor to make the color of the cider. Now, for our drawing today, make sure that whatever paper it is that you're using, that you turn it vertical up and down, and we are going to draw first our number at the top. So this is day number 10. Um, I'm going to be using a Sharpie to draw. You use a pencil just so you can erase anything that you need to. Okay, just a nice box at the top. Again, if you want to make this fancy, if you want to do like some really pretty calligraphy for the number, please feel free. It's up to you. All right. So there's our number at the top. Got the number 10. Now, when we're drawing a cup or something that is cylindrical, that is a cylinder, we really have to think about the different ways the shape curves in three-dimensional space. So what I want us to do first is I actually want us to go ahead and draw an oval. So right about here on your paper, I want you to go ahead and draw an oval. I want this to be slanted. We're going to have kind of this dynamic composition today. All right, once you've got that oval, we're gonna go ahead and on either side, draw two straight lines coming down. If you have to turn your paper so that you can get these lines in the right spot, please feel free. You want them the same length. Okay, so once you have that, now what we have to do when we end the cylinder is we don't wanna draw a flat line. If we drew just a straight line across, our object would look two-dimensional and we don't want that. So when we're trying to think of a three-dimensional object like a cup, we actually want this line on the bottom to match the one that's on the top. So if this line is curved, this line needs to be curved. And now we have a cup shape. Now we need a handle for this cup. You could exclude a handle if you want to, but cider is usually served warm. So you don't want to burn your hand when you're trying to like hold the cup. So let's go ahead and draw a curved line on the side here and another curved line in the middle, just to give a nice good handle. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start drawing the cider on the inside of the cup. Now, we are making sort of a glass mug, which means we're gonna be able to see through it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, first of all, our cider is kind of spilling out today. Somebody maybe, you know, just was holding it in their hand funny, or maybe it's dropped, who knows? Maybe this it's not going anywhere and it's floating in outer space. Maybe astronauts are celebrating uh, the fall, who knows? So what I want us to do is I want us to first go on this side of our cup, and I just want you to draw a straight line. This one should be parallel to our edge of the cup here. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to see the bottom of the cup. Now, this liquid doesn't go all the way to the bottom because, of course, the glass is thick. So what we have to do is we have to draw another curved line that matches the one on the bottom. Now, don't connect all the way to the side because we are now going to draw another line upwards. And this is going to be kind of like, again, that edge of the glass. Again, if you have to turn your paper just so that you can get this line straight, feel free. And this is going to go all the way up here. All right, so now we can have some fun drawing the cider spilling out of the glass. Now for me, I want the cider to kind of be coming off to this edge here, and then we'll do a curved line down. So I'm going to start right up here. I'm going to draw a curved line up, and down, and another curved line. And I want this to go almost like a big U-shape that connects back this line that we had made before. Now what I would recommend is you actually erase this line right here. I'm not going to be able to because I'm making my drawing in Sharpie, but you've done yours in pencil, so you should be able to erase this line so that it looks just like it's solid here. Now of course cider is a liquid, you could see through it, so I guess you don't have to technically erase it, but just for the look we were going for today, I would go ahead and erase that. Now, cider is often mixed with cinnamon, or you could even have a cinnamon stick in it. So we're gonna go ahead and draw that on our cup as well. 
So what I want you to do is right about here, it's going to be slanted going up this way. I want you to draw a slanted line up and a slanted line up. Then I want you to draw two ovals at the top and draw another line down. Cinnamon, when you see it, sometimes it's rolled up into one curl, sometimes it's curled up into two. So we're gonna have a cinnamon stick that's curled up on both sides. You can even draw two swirls on the inside there. Now, we can't see through cinnamon, it is solid, so you are going to have to erase this line from our cup right here. And then last but not least, we have our cup here that's three-dimensional, and we're gonna be able to see parts of the liquid that are inside the cup on the other side. So take your pencil, start right here, draw a curve and a curve, and that will show the liquid that's on the other side of the cup. All right, so now from here, you can have a lot of fun deciding how you want everything to kind of spill out. You can draw some apples, because of course, cider can be made out of apples. Um, you can draw a slanted line and then a curve to make an apple slice. You can add in as many as you like. I've added in two. And then you can draw seeds on that flat edge. If you want, you could also draw the liquid as it kind of splashes out. So you just gotta make some teardrop shapes either way. I'm gonna add three. All right, so now we can go ahead and start coloring things in. If you want yours to look exactly like mine, I outlined with Sharpie first, so you can pause, outline, and then just keep going on the daily draw. But if you've already outlined your stuff, this is what you can do. I'm actually going to do a little bit of um, line quality variation. So I am going to take my Sharpie after everything has been outlined, and I'm actually going to add more Sharpie onto the bottom of my glass cup just to kind of make it have a little bit more weight. It's going to appear to give it just a little bit more, it's just gonna look a little more interesting on the page. As well, I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm going to kind of thicken this part where the handle connects to the cup. Do that on both sides. You could even on one side of the handle perhaps on the same side as this one here. You can even darken that up. So that's something you can try out if you'd like. Otherwise, I'm now gonna go ahead and move into some more coloring. Again, you can take your Sharpie and make the number super fancy if you'd like to, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the watercolor for the inside here. So again, you can use pencil or marker to fill in the apple slices or the cinnamon stick, but definitely we're gonna try and use some watercolor on the inside. Now for the cider, I'm going to use a medium brush and I am gonna be using two colors. I'm gonna be using yellow and I'm going to be using yellow orange. So for the yellow, I'm gonna pick that up first after getting my brush nice and wet. And I'm just gonna kind of pat that in the middle part of the cup here and maybe a little bit towards the cider. Again, you're, you don't have these lines here, but I do because I drew in Sharpie. Just make sure yours are erased before doing anything. Again, just kind of patting that around. I'm not so worried about trying to get this super smooth. And then I'll take some yellow orange, just a little bit. I'll pat that in over here. I think I want there to be a little bit of shadow on this side. So I'm going to take more of that yellow orange. I'm really gonna kind of focus it in on this side of the cider. And then what I can do is I can kind of go back and forth, adding in yellow or yellow orange and patting this color in to have it sort of look like this liquid. Okay. Now as for the part of the cider back here, this area and this area is actually the cider. 
I want that to be darker because um, I want this part to stand out more. So I'm going to take the yellow orange and carefully fill in these two spaces. Now, if you want, you could take even a little bit of brown. Maybe there's like some cinnamon that got sprinkled into the cider along with the cinnamon stick. And you can kind of use the tip of your brush to add in some little speckles to show the cinnamon in the cider. And that's gonna be up to you if you wanna add more or less of that. You could even take a little bit of brown if you wanna darken up some of those spots in the cider like this area here along the left side, you can. All right. So now what we can do is we can start to fill in those little parts that are splashing out. So you can do this with a combination of the yellow, orange and yellow. I'm gonna do the combination of both. If a medium brush is too big for you, you can use your smallest brush that you have. I'm feeling pretty confident with the medium brush, so I'm just gonna move forward with this one. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna use a small brush, and I'm going to fill in some of the glass here. So for this, you could do this in a marker or a pencil, really, if you uh, feel more comfortable doing that, that's fine. I'm going to use a small brush maybe a little bit of orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just gonna add some lines on the inside here to kind of show that the glass is shiny. Now normally we would do this with a white material, but glass is see-through. So it's going to reflect whatever light is around or whatever colors are kind of around it. So I'm gonna do orange. You can take this color, you can drag it up the sides of the glass, you can take it around the bottom. See if you can get some of the line that you're creating with the watercolor to be thick or thin in some areas. You can drag it along the top here, along the cinnamon stick, or even towards the back. You can even fill this in a little bit if you want it to stand out more. As for the apples, if you want to fill those in with watercolor, I recommend taking maybe a little bit of red very carefully with your small brush along the sides of the apple. You can paint in the skin. But again, if you want this to be a very, very vibrant, like super vibrant color, I would do this with a marker or a pencil. Same thing if you want the seeds to really stand out, I'd fill that in with marker or pencil. As for the cinnamon stick, like I said, on my original example, filled it in with marker so it was very, very bright, but you could also take brown watercolor and fill it in all the same. So that is gonna be a decision that I leave in your hands, and I'm sure it will turn out beautiful no matter what you do. I'll be very sneaky with my brush here and I'll fill in those seeds on with the brown in the brush. And if you want the apple to have a little bit more color besides for the white of the paper, you could take just a teeny tiny bit of yellow, maybe just do a light wash of that color over top. And kind of around, just try not to mix it into your red. And there we have it. So that is day 10 all done. So remember, make sure that you share your artwork in the comments if you did today's daily draw. I'd love to see all the different cider and things you've added into the background. Um, speaking of backgrounds, if you wanna add in like a background, like an actual one, please feel free to do so. I would love to see it. Thank you so much for tuning in for this daily draw and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye.